Hey everybody, welcome to the Swear Corner. For those joining us for the very first time, welcome y'all. You are so welcome to the channel. For those that are always here, hey y'all. Today we're doing something that I think is very important. That I also think that I first didn't don't think that uh, people will struggle with this. But I've had so many conversations with women that I take for granted that everybody should know that they are, they are skin type. This is very important because most people take their um, product um, advice from friends, family, and they'll copy from me for example i like a product they'll just buy it without considering what skin what skin type i am or what condition i'm also have if i do have a, like a skin condition so we don't consider this when we're choosing our products most of us have realized so i thought this would be nice we're going to go back to basics finding out your skin type So I'm just an enthusiast, someone who's really passionate about you having um, amazing skin. You need to know your skin type because it will set a foundation for the type of product that you that you need to use or that you should use for your skin. And number two, should you have um, outbreaks or whatever, you will also know how to treat your skin because every skin type should be treated differently when it comes to like outbreaks and all of that. And then the other thing is you will this will also let you know when you go in the shop it makes it easier for you to shop for your products because you know my skin is dry oh let me just go here dry i can buy it right right there are four different skin types there is normal for people who don't have any issues your body produces just the right levels of oils and the right levels of um, water within your skin Right? You don't have any issues at all. You don't become too oily. Your face skin doesn't feel too dry. It's just there. No issues. Lucky people. And then you get people... Now, normal becomes our um, our center, right? And then you move in the two separate spectrums. You will get um, normal and then you move to oily combination, oily skin. Or you can do that combination um dry skin basically so we're going to move in those spectrums right so now that one is done then you get the one that's also that's then the dry skin dry skin is for people who body do not produce enough uh water or oils as well because your face constantly feels like it's dry it's not dehydrated your skin is just dry probably creates the right levels of oil but not the right levels of water to keep your skin um, hydrated and that's it uh, yeah moisturized in a sense right to create enough moisture within your cells in your skin if that makes sense um, those people are not there it's not like because they they have this because they drink they don't drink enough water or whatever it's just their skin type and then you get people with oily skin and oily skin is people whose body produ over produces oils more than anything else everybody knows that skin type so constantly you just feel like i didn't even apply lotion but your skin feels like you did and you applied like a whole container of olive oil not i'm exaggerating but that's how people feels like and then that's the third one so in the fourth one is the combination skin combination skin is the one that moves now when you're moving on the spectrum where you get like you remember you have your oil and you have your dry and then you get your normal here so people can move within like that and that becomes the combination skin people can have a combination skin of dry where your face feels like some areas are dry and some areas are very oily the most common ones is where the area for example is dry here and the outer area of your face but very oily in the center of your face usually this area key here right I fall part of that spectrum combination. So mine is combination to the drier side because 80% diverse, 80% of my skin is dry. And then the only part that is oily is the nose and here up. And then at the top of my uh, my upper lip, that area for me is always very oily. 
if I wear makeup, that's the area that break up, that breaks up first. If I didn't wash my face, if I wash my face and didn't apply lotion, that area is the one that produces more oil. The rest of it just remains like we're here, we're hanging. Okay, basically that. And then you also get combination when some people are combination more the oily, where most of the face is oily and you have just very small patches that are dry. Two different, also combination. Uh, yeah, that's also combination skin. So, just a quick recap: you have four skin types. You have the normal, you have the dry, you have the oily, and you have the combination skin. The other thing I want to tell you about comp your skin is that it can also be affected by your environment. What do I mean by this? Uh, you can be in a very dry area where the air is just dry, wherever you are. That also affects your skin type, right? And that also affects how you treat your skin type. It can be affected by the humidity in the atmosphere. If the place is constantly humid, that also affects. My skin, for example, that's very dry. If I go to a very humid area, my skin likes areas like that because somehow it like, pushes moisture in my face in my skin uh very and the other thing that can also affect your skin type is also your hormones good example of that is uh i'll take i'll make myself the example that time of the month my skin becomes very sensitive it doesn't change that, that my skin is dry but it, it changes the condition of my skin where my, my skin is extra sensitive that the product that I usually use for my face I have to change to, to stop using the normal the normal face cleanser that I use and then use a cleanser that is made for sensitive skin because for that week and a week and a half of the month even if I go out into the sun my skin is just extra like sensitive and everything irritates it if i just touch it the wrong way i can already see my face starting to um give it a breakout i don't really get a lot of breakouts but irritation where i, I see my marks or i can feel like a burning sensation within my skin okay so now that i've told you about that but how do you then find out what your skin type is right there are three di different ways of how you can do it all of them are actually similar similar in in their in the, in their in many aspects but it has to do with like time frame right the first one is you can f wash your face at night and then once you've washed your face at night you don't apply any lotion at all you just use your cleanser you leave it like petty dry don't rub on it petty dry leave your skin like that sleep the night and then tomorrow morning when you wake up you will see areas of your face that are either very oily or very dry the areas that are if your whole entire skin is oily like your blood lotion during the night it means you have an oily skin and shiny it means you have an oily skin if your skin is just dry it means and you feel like you need to apply lotion it feels like it's pulling in a sense then um you are dry skin if your face then has areas that are shiny and areas that are not then you know you have combination skin so it has to do with time frame the other one that you can do is you can if you don't ever want to do it overnight and that's too long i don't want to do that you can wash your face leave it like that while you're chilling at home and you just for an hour or so you just leave your face to be and then you also see the results usually for oily skin you see very quickly because your body rate that your body produces um oils you the Another uh, way you can t see your skin type is that you can actually use the petting um, method where you use a blotting paper. If you don't have blotting paper, you can use the tissues. You cut them all up in fours, right? You wash your face, same story, that doesn't change. Don't apply anything. And then you sit there for about 30 minutes and then after that, up to an hour, and then you, you put the patches on your, your head and your forehead this area and then on the side of your face once you've applied your your thing you wait for about five minutes the the tissue and then you already see the areas that, that are coming up with like blots on your on the paper are the oily areas the areas that have nothing on it it just comes clear like this those are the areas that are then dry i hope i have educated you a little bit and if you have any questions please don't forget to put them in the comment section i will definitely reply to them and i hope you stay tuned for the next episode where we'll talk about other things and also is about skincare 
and i really hope you do learn something because i want my videos to mean something to you and that you're taking something from me you know and uh, yeah so that's basically that from signing off from the makeup corner i'm orlunda i'll see you guys in the next episode <laughs>